If there's one word a PR person can use that really gets my attention, it's bulletproof. bulletproof. Actually, I suppose that's two words. Either way, cable manufacturer Nanda threw down the gauntlet, asking, What do bulletproof vests and our charging cable have in common? The Zeus Kevlar Cable is currently in the middle of a successful crowdfunding campaign, having so far raised about $140,000 on an initial $10,000 goal. The cable comes in USB Type-C, micro USB, or Apple Lightning. And the company has issued a challenge to its customers. Come up with creative ways to test what their marketing copy calls the toughest charging cable in, in the, the world. world. Well, we've come to the arms room here in League City, Texas for our own creative way to test these cables with bullets. We're going to be using this semi-automatic FN57 pistol. Keen-eyed viewers may note that this is actually the same pistol used on Battlestar Galactica, although I don't have the grenade launcher attachment that they had on the show. The weapon fires 5.7 by 28 millimeter shells. Uh, they're actually a little bigger than a 22 caliber shell, but they have a boat tail on the end of them and the cartridges are necked like a rifle cartridge. We're going to be shooting downrange at the Zeus cable, which we've got affixed to a piece of poster board here, and we're going to see how well the 5.7 rounds uh, impact the cable. So this should be interesting. We've got our cable affixed to some poster board downrange, and it's time to shoot it. And I missed. And there we go. And that was the Zeus iPhone charging cable. Uh, not exactly bulletproof, and to be fair, they don't really bill it as a bulletproof cable, merely as a cable that incorporates some of the same technology as bulletproof vests. It's that Kevlar coring inside the cable that gives it tensile and bend strength. Unfortunately, it did not give it enough strength to stand up to my mighty bullets. I want to give a big shout out to the arms room in League City for allowing us to come out here and shoot. Thanks, guys. Lee Hutchinson for Ars Technica. We'll see y'all later.